The interface we want to look at now is called the Channel Monitoring Interface. And it's up here on the top, so let's click on it. And let's let it load. Now what this interface is all about has to do with the 10 analog channels that we're able to plot on the plot area. The indicators at the right have to do with allowing us to turn the plots on and off, set the color, look at the value of the plots, and select what kinds of values we'd like to see. So let's kind of get into that now by starting some plotting. Let's go down here and click our rocker switch to start plotting. And we're plotting 10 channels of analog data right here at the bottom of the plot and 8 channels of digital data. But uh, since this interface deals only with analog data, let's turn our digital data off. Come up here to the View pull-down menu and come down to Display Digital. We notice it's checked, so let's uncheck it. And we now see that our digital data is gone. Let's once again go up here to the View menu and verify the digital data is gone. Yes, it is. It's unchecked. So we're just plotting our analog data right now. And as you can see, they're in multiple colors. Let's also adjust our Y scale to something a little bit less than it is right now. Right now it's 0 to 1000. So let's come down here and bring it down to something like 0 to 500. And to be even more specific, what we can do is come down here to the Y scale and click our Auto Scale. And our Auto Scale will allow us to see our analog data at its absolute maximum and minimum settings, but nothing above or nothing below. So let's click on Auto Scale, and there we have it. So now we are plotting 10 channels of analog data in 10 different colors. If we go over to the right-hand side, we notice that we have our channel numbers labeled from top to bottom as 9 through 0. And we also see right next to it colors from black to red to blue to green and so forth right up the line. And then next to that we have our values of our analog plots. And right now we are set to the current value of the analog plot. We can also change that. Let's just do it up here. We can change that to monitor the maximum value, the minimum value, or the average value. So let's choose maximum for channel 9. And we see that our analog channel 9's maximum is, in this case, 323. And if you look at the y-axis, since we're set to auto-scaling, that's exactly what our analog scale is set to at the moment. Let's look at our minimum value. Our minimum value for channel 9 is 196. And this is the light blue plot that we see on the screen. And so you can see that it's pretty consistent. Uh, right now, we've uh, just refreshed the screen, and it's changed its uh, value. So it'll come, kind of come back up again and change its minimum value once it really approaches the next minimum. So let's wait for that to happen. Okay, there it goes. It's coming back down to 196. So that's how we do our maximum and minimums. We can take an average of our reading, and the average is changing, but this is the general average that we're looking at. 
And if we allow the plot to continue for a long time, then that average will settle down and come into a, uh, a total average. One thing we can do to maintain a good average is come down here to this button, which says clear values on reset. And that means that all the values, including the minimum, the maximum, and the average values are cleared at reset, meaning when the plot comes to the maximum time axis here and resets itself. But let's turn that off. So now if we come up here to the average value, so with the clear values on reset button off, our average values over time will settle into a very stable number. Let's go back to current. So let's go over here to our on-off controls. And this allows us to turn our plots on and off. So looking at the plot area, we're going to turn off the light blue colored plot. And then the other blue plot. And continue right down the line, turning each one of these plots off. until we're left with channel 0, which is our black plot. And we can turn that off as well. So this is a way to kind of choose whatever plots we want to look at or not look at on the screen very, very simply and very effectively. Another thing we can do is change the color of the plot. So let's turn off all the plots except channel 9. And this is our light blue plot. Let's change its color. Actually, we can just click on it here. And let's change that color to something a little bit different. Let's change it to this particular color here. Click the OK. And there we have it. So it's kind of a watermelon -y color. And now channel 9 is that color rather than the light blue color. So once again, we're able to change the colors that we want to see. We're able to turn our plots on and off. And we're also able to change the settings between current, maximum, minimum, and average. So that's the general idea behind this particular interface. It provides a very, very effective way to monitor up to 10 analog channels, changing the colors, turning the plots on and off, and also monitoring the various values in our text boxes here based on our drop-down choices of maximum, minimum, average, and current. Once again, we are using at the bottom our menu systems that have been described previously in our standard interface video series. So I encourage you to look at that video to understand exactly how all the controls on the bottom menus operate.